Welcome to Smart Optometry. Today we are going to discuss about corneal topography and I am going to cover these following topics. Now let's start with the introduction. Corneal topography is a clinical procedure used to analyze the corneal structures and parameters like corneal shape, whether the cornea is spherical or cylindrical, corneal curvature, whether the cornea is steeper or flatter and corneal thickness. Modern technologies allow us to analyze from anterior cornea to anterior surface of crystalline lens. All the topographies can be divided into two segments. One, traditional corneal topography. Two, modern tomography or video cartography. Now, let's see traditional corneal topographies. Traditional topographies measure only radius of curvature or dioptic power of anterior surface of cornea. As they deal with only topical surface or anterior surface of cornea, that's why they are called topography. Example, keratometry, keratoscopy, photokeratoscopy. The traditional topography was limited only with anterior surface of cornea as they are based on first Purkinje image formed by the anterior surface of cornea. If it was possible to isolate second Purkinje image, then we could have measured curvature of posterior surface also with the traditional topographer like keratometer. Practically, second Purkinje image is not possible to separate in keratometer because of the overlapping of both myers. And also, second Purkinje images will be much dimmer as compared to first Purkinje images. Now, modern corneal tomography. Modern tomographies measure anterior surface of cornea to anterior lens because of using a slit beam of light along with skin plug camera. They provide a three-dimensional map of anterior cornea to anterior lens due to which it's called corneal tomography. It allows us to analyze following structures, anterior surface of cornea, posterior surface of cornea, anterior chamber depth, anterior chamber angle, corneal thickness, white to white. Common brand for B2 cartography are Pentacam, Sirius and Orbscan. Now let's see the history of corneal topography. Early attempt. In 1619, Scheiner tried to identify corneal curvature by matching the image of window frame reflected in patient's eyes with the image produced by one of his calibrated spare. What he did he tried to match the size of the image of a window reflected in the patient cornea with the size of the image of the window reflected in one of his calibrated sphere. Here you can see the size of the image of window in the patient's cornea and here he has lots of calibrated sphere. Suppose this sphere has radius of curvature of 7.5, this has 8. Now the size of the image of window in the patient cornea is matching with size of the image of the window with this pair. So we can say the radius of curvature of patient cornea is 7.5 mm. Now keratoscopy. Good try to analyze corneal shape by reflecting series of concentric rings that is placid to disc in anterior cornea. What he did, he used concentric rings instead of the window as an object. The image of these concentric rings in the patient anterior cornea gives us an idea about the shape of the cornea. Like flat cornea has more space between the myers, steep cornea has less space between the myers and if the cornea is irregular like keratoconus, they have irregular myers. Now keratometer. In 1854, Helmholtz tried to identify the corneal curvature by using circular myers reflected on anterior surface of cornea. But the limitation was this measure only central 3 mm and considered cornea as true sphere. Now photokeratoscopy. In 1896, Goldstein developed a quantitative assessment of photokeratoscopy. When a photographic camera is attached to the keratoscope, it becomes photokeratoscopy. This allows observer to click photo 
and document the shape of the cornea of the patient. Now, video keratoscopy, which is known as video keratography or BKG. When a video camera and a slit illumination system are attached to the keratoscope, it becomes video keratoscope. It allows us to analyze anterior cornea to anterior lens. The modern corneal topography are actually video keratoscope. In the next video, I will discuss about principle of traditional and modern topography. Till then, stay with us, study optometry smartly.